All right, well, there is the Stunner X from Bike Tricks. They tell me this is an off-road cruiser bike. However, I feel like it's more cruiser than it is off-road. <laughs> Given the tires, I mean, the 24 inch by three tires here that are uh, very, I'd say fast rolling. I mean, there's not much traction on here. It looks like it's more tread for wicking away water than it would be. Uh, these would just clog with mud, I would imagine, if you're trying to go off-roading. Very interesting tires i have never seen tires like this it's they're 24 by 3 uh, they're kenda they don't have any other name on them other than kenda and i before my ride today i actually checked to see what the tire pressure was at they were like at like 15 and i read the sidewall and it said you're supposed to have these pumped up to 40 psi it says please inflate to 40 psi which has made them absolutely rock hard so i already rode through a field with it earlier and it about rattles the teeth out of your head because it's so stiff. So if you're gonna off-road this, I think you're gonna wanna get the 26 inch tires or wheels and then the, you know, the four inch fat tires, leave them a little squishy. Probably would do much better off-road, but I did see a trail up here um, that we can go test out a little bit further on this. I've never been on it, so we're gonna go find out where it goes and what it's like. Hopefully it's not too muddy. It hasn't really rained recently, so we should be good. All right, I'm growing to like this bike more and more as I ride it. I've been out for like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes now, just kind of messing around, getting to know it a little bit better. And uh, this is a very powerful, very powerful bike. I'm kind of shocked at how much, how much just raw power and torque this thing has. Here's what I was talking about. I saw this as I drove by. Uh, this is about what I think this bike could probably handle, right? Clearly someone's driven down this recently. Saw tire tracks there. There's a gate. No sign that says don't come in, so I think I'm okay. But with these tires pumped up that high, it's really... You're probably going to hear it in my voice as we ride. The shaking. They're, they're just so firm. It's, I guess I could deflate them. I didn't, I didn't even put them at 40. Actually, I put them at like 36 or 38. I can't remember because I was like 40. That seems really, really stiff. Oh, here's some mud. But we're testing its uh, off-road capability slightly here. It's not really a bike I want to ride off-road. I don't think it can do it if you need to, I guess. This one would actually, this bike would benefit from a suspension seat post for sure because it's just destroying my spine right now or maybe the tannis liners would soften it up like i did with my other bike yeah, but we're just breezing breezing through this so yeah you could ride this off road all right i guess it's just gonna dump us out on the side of the road here somewhere But what else about this bike? It's uh, it's comfy. The sweat back handlebars and the seat are nice. Like I said, I think I'm gonna put a suspension seat post on it. That'd probably help. It is so quiet. I mean, the tires being there's no knobs on them, you go down the street, just complete dead silent. There's no rattles, shakes, squeaks, nothing on this bike. It's a very, very, very tight bike. It is brand new, so shouldn't be shaking and rattling a ton. I guess I'm gonna have to just climb over the train tracks here. There's no way I'm riding down them. I won't have any teeth left. Ooh, this is tall grass. Hopefully there's no giant mud pits in here. Get up here a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Really rough up there. I, is there an exit to this road? There was a gated entrance. I'm just throttling through here. Woo! All right, it off-roads. It off-roads. Yeah, when those cars drive in here, where do they go? There's an old set of train tracks. We're exploring. I guess you can explore on a Stunner X as well. All right, yeah, I just got a straight 
jump on the train tracks, unfortunately, to get out of here. Uh, uh, is it closer to go that way or back? I don't know. All right. This is the ultimate suspension test. <laughs> oh, God. We don't got far to go. Oh, I feel bad doing this to this bike, but we only got to go like another 20 feet. This is probably where I'll pop a tire. <laughs> oh, man. Almost there. Oh, that is a steep. I can't go over that. I bought him out on that thing. Okay, we made it. All right, well, that was a fun little detour. I, uh, I haven't put a ton of information out on this bike yet. I might do a comparison to my upgraded rad, which, you know, I haven't really done a whole lot of comparisons to that bike because it's so, it's out of every other bike's league right now with all the upgrades to it. It's so powerful and fast, but this bike might be the closest at this point. I mean, this motor, even though it's a 750 mid-drive, it is really, really torquey and fast. Powerful off the line. Believe it or not, this bike out wheelies my other rad. You can do wheelies from a standstill on this thing. It's amazing. That's what the torque gets you right there. Very cool looking bike. I haven't even had time to set it up for me yet. I gotta adjust the, the brakes. They need to tilt it down a little bit. And like I said, I gotta get that seat post on there. I really wanna try that on this bike. I might take some more air out of the tires. It, that's such a rough ride at 40 PSI. That's crazy. I don't know why they want them so high. I guess because it's a street oriented tire. They want it as fast rolling as they can get it. So I got to do that too. We're going to do top speed tests on this bike. I'm about to do that now, but uh, there's just a little bit more. Yes, you can uh, take this slightly off road and ride it down train tracks and it doesn't break. <laughs> but, uh, Look at that blue in the light. That is a crazy blue. Some of you guys said you didn't like the blue. I, thought it, I special ordered the blue. I like that blue. It really pops, man. This is a bright bike. And of course, we gotta go over the display at some point, how to program all that stuff. I've been researching so I know how to set top speeds and whatnot. And this one, you can actually change the number of pedal assists, I believe. You can get more than five. You can get, I think, up to nine on this one as well, like you can on the Hemiway. So I always like that. You can, I like it when you can program more and more stuff in the screen, right? So we're gonna have to do a whole video on that so you guys can see how to do that. But that's all for now, just a quick one. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.